Yo, what's good, my fellow Magic Knights? It is your boy, Deadman Vince, back with another Black Clover Mobile video. Hope you guys have been doing well. Hope you guys have surpassed your limits. I am uh, on Deadman bedheaded mode again. Uh, my hair is trying to surpass its limits currently and jump for the heavens and climb off of my head, I guess you could say. Basically, I was asleep, but not any regular sleep. I drank a little bit of rum before I went to sleep, so I was bricked last night. But I just woke up. And even though I am like halfway awake right now, semi-cognizant, semi um, a lot of information dropped for Black Clover Mobile here on the, apparently the main website or the main Twitter page, and then it all got taken down. And we actually have it on the Black Clover Mobile EN like Twitter page, which is not the official Black Clover Mobile Twitter page, but basically it's the official Twitter page because the social team uh, the social media management team for Vic Gaming is horrendous. Look in their Discord; it'll let you know. Um, they do not communicate very well. Uh, they do they do a decent job on Twitter, but they just call the stuff down on their Twitter. So I don't know why you would release all this stuff and then try to take it back. We've already shown it, but we still have everything here, right? Now this is not new. This right here is from yesterday, which all this was is a reenactment of the scene where. Asta joins the Black Boulder first, and then Magnus is just like, yo, like you have to, you have to pass my test, right? Make sure to see if you are a good fit for the Black Bulls, even though nobody cares what Magnus thinks, right? But um, this is a scene where Asta literally knocks back the fireball. The reason why I have a pause is because I want to talk about the UI right here, right? So look at how the UI looks. The summit currency, the money, and the stamina always have been there. These are the missions, obviously. This is the chat for the world, uh, inventory, mail. Mm, not too sure this looks like awakening or maybe summoning um there's a summoning animation here later too so be on the lookout for that but this right here where, where was it where was it this right here the picture that they first released with all the different uh, members on the team it was uh, i'm pretty sure it was luck asta you know and then oh i can't remember the last one magna no it wasn't magna magna wasn't on the team mars it was mars mars luck Asta, you know, on the team, I'm pretty sure they were going into a dungeon, and I think that these right here are actually like special uh, stamina for the dungeon because this looks like how much they'll give you for like PvP uh, stamina usually, but I don't think that's PvP stamina because the way that it looked didn't seem like it was like a PvP type of thing in the video at the very least. But let's go ahead and play this. This is this is the once again from yesterday, not today. But literally, you can just see Asta and Magna talking, and Magna's pretty much saying, "You had to pass my test if you want to join the Black Bulls." Danny fucks around, throws a fireball at this man, Asta deflects it. Manny is cheeked on. Vanessa makes out his black bull club. Alright, cool. So, this is from yesterday. Now let's get into all the new stuff. So, this right here is the game tutorial. And I just want to let you guys know that all of this stuff has been dropped. Courtesy of the YouTube channel Eagle Feather, I believe. Yes, Eagle Feather. So definitely give a big shout out to Eagle Feather. Their YouTube is right here. Just look up Eagle Feather on YouTube. Um, I'll link it on my description just so you guys can go show some love to that man. But I'm gonna actually play the sound on this one. I didn't play the sound on the last one because it had copyrighted music more than likely. This one though, uh, this one's just sound from the game. This is a tutorial though, so you get to play the Wizard King. Um, at the beginning of the tutorial, you get to fight Lake, aka the ancient demon that's trying to destroy the Clover Kingdom. So let's get into it. Okay. This looks like the definite Henry HUD. I remember they had a picture released of like order stuff. Well, this is the Japanese version. So let's not jump too, too, too hard here, right? But that's obviously the big sword move. It looks like this needs only nine out of 10. Uh, you know, let's let it play a little bit. Because this down here is stamina now. Uh, or not now, but they, they even confirmed that this is stamina. Oh, that looks so good. Crazy. And then what is that? Nice. Now that we know everything that we know about demons, bro, the, the first Wizard King is an absolute god. At least from the time when he's breaking. This is probably the of Chinese, to be honest. That's what we're that's what we playing right now. Oh, and then the and then the item that him and Sekre created that can store magic. Okay, okay. I love it. I love it, man. Then he deflects that, 
And then this move right here, as you can see, is on cooldown. But his AP points, action points, this is what I'm thinking it is, what I'm calling it. Or maybe that is mana, right there. His AP point has gone up to 10, so now he can use his ultimate. I was actually pretty curious to see this move. Because the symbol for the other, for the de defensive type move he did, looked a little different. Incredible. And honestly, this this actually does look pretty good. It's crazy how accurate to the show this fight is right now. That's so beautiful. But it's crazy how good this looks, and this is a very low quality version. It's a little it's a little rough for me right now looking at this. So when we actually get in game and play, it's gonna look so good. Oh, that was clean. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's that chop, bro. Hold on. The gleam, bro. Ah, uh, I love that, bro. Peak Clover, Peak Clover. Okay, so that was the tutorial. That was crazy. If you're wondering why I have the face game on, it's because I just woke up and I saw that all the information dropped, but I didn't actually look at any of the information. So, Drip, Drip, uh, what is the name? Drip Lumiere. Why did I forget that for a second? I was thinking of Julius' name. Drip Lumiere in the building, guys. That, that tutorial is crazy. We're gonna go over to the next thing, the next little bit of the information. Now, remember what I said, all this stuff is via, um, via Eagle Feather, and, oh, there's a Discord as well, but this right here, this is showing off, I'm thinking that maybe this is going to be, like, start a game, just, like, special, like, launch units, because we have them in our school uniforms, unless these are the first units, then, in that case, that'd be pretty cool, but we have, you know, in a nice little fire uh, school uniform, and there's a little video later on showing his skills, but you can see the skills broken down right here. I still don't know what this link means right here. So maybe those weren't link skills because that, that, um, that symbol is showing up right here. I thought that was like a thing that was showing up whenever they were in battle and it prompted this, but no, that's not it. You can see that he is an attack type uh, character, but he's a green attack type character. How are typings working? Because the character, the symbol is more so the typing. The color, not too sure. Don't know what this says. I'm gonna try to translate this all. Um, don't know what these moves are. I mean, you can make, take a wild guess just from the pictures, but this move I think is the move where, oh, oh. This is when Yuno does like the giant wind bow and he has a bunch of like things ready to shoot, a bunch of arrows to shoot off, I believe so. This one right here looks like when he was fighting Catherine, the, the witch who had the magic to steal your like youth away. It, you know, was fighting her and he had, he unlocked Mana's own basically and he blasted her ass with that big wind column. Because it looks more like that, but the way that the wind looks on this, you can tell that uh, Bell's energy is mixed into it. Um, then we have a picture of Asta on his school uniform. So yes, the school uniform flows. Schoolyard drip. This man is attack type. Now this man has Demon Dweller and Demon Slayer. So that's very interesting. Uh, nice little collab version of him. They're not collab, but a nice little teased version of him, a new uh, a special celebration game launch promotion type of version of him. You know I'm getting all these characters, bro. I don't care. I don't care. When the game drops, it's over. It's done. Let's go over to the videos for these characters. So, now we have Yuno in his school uniforms. Yo, tell me this, man. Yuno is not sauced up, bro. As we can see, you know, like we, like we were told, this right here is the um, single target AoE AoE. Also, one thing that I'm noticing... Hmm. Okay. Now I see. There's always going to be an attack type. There's always going to be attack, tank, uh, support, debuff, or um, healer, right? But what differs is the colors, the typing. Because you can see this man is an attack type and you know is an attack type. Yeah, this man is red and you know is green. There's a, that, that cross right there is the healing icon, but he's red type. So basically... It looks like the characters, the enemies can differ by typing. You know, is going to be so great is something that you have, something that you have type advantage over. Bad is something you have type disadvantage, and then good is neutral, which is kind of weird that they would say it's good. They could just say neutral or like just not put anything over his head, and just made this bad and good. But I mean, even still, it's it's fine to be honest. Let's look at the skill animations here. So let's pay attention to the UI. You know, just use the first skill there. Ooh, that looked good. That little wind column, that was clean. And you see right here, it says level one. I'm gonna have to try to translate that as well. Oh, they give us percentages. Oh, oh, yeah. Translation time, translation time. 
Who is he aiming at? Who is he looking at? Hmm. Hey, what did I tell you, bro? Big brain dead man. I told you that was the bow. I told you that was the bow, bro. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That That's... Okay, I see, I see. That little... What it said was some little debuff, right? You can see right here. Nah, bro. Right there. The little red arrow on the bottom of the skill, and then this right here is the debuff for it. So it looks like it's reducing some sort of stat by 20%. The debuff is only at level 2. So maybe if you get the skill to level 10, the debuff does more. And I can't tell what that... It might be an accuracy down type of thing because you really can't make out what that symbol is. At least on the quality of this version. Now, this right here is a buff and another buff. I'm gonna have to try and translate this stuff. See what I can gather from translations. Go from there. Oh! Yo. Hey, yo, yo, that was like some custom just for the game and yo, I know that people were mad about the game taking long, bro, but look at this, bro. Can you be mad at this right now? Can you be mad at how good these animations look? Can you be mad at the drip drop on this man, you know? Bro, y'all are, y'all can't be mad with this, bro. This, this was worth the wait. This was worth the, worth the wait, bro. Now this is the this is the Taiwanese version that we're seeing right here, but I assume that all the versions will look like this. I really hope they don't don't veer too far off the path here. But this this looks good, bro. Well, there's a different publishing company for um, the global version, but let's hope that it's not as much of a fiasco as we think it is. And let's let the video finish out. So the ultimate moves took his AP. These moves, I don't know. It looks like you can just choose in between them without. Expending any stamina or HP, so I'm not sure. Maybe they knew that using mana as a system in game would be a little too hard to regulate mana and health at the same time, and they decided to make mana a stat so they can base attacks off of it. M magical spells, right? Uh, base attacks off of it, damage wise, but then also mm, just that, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I don't even know what else I was gonna say. I think they're just gonna use that as the as the basic like attack stat for spells and then there's you know attack is just the attack stat for uh, attack when you look at the skills you'll notice that when it's breaking it down you'll see a percentage on both sides right here the ending symbol is the same so i'm going to speculate that that's like uh, attack and that's like magical attack because it looks like there's more words added on to that one than this one um like i said i'm gonna go back and and kind of Translate all this stuff or try to. But let's move over to Drippy Boy Asta. Now, here we have Schoolyard Asta, and of course he is a delinquent with the with the hat turned sideways. You know Asta, bro. We got the dual slash move here. All Asta moves are single target. Um, dual slash. Look, all. I mean, just, they're just dual wield moves. We can still type. That type does persist through this also. But let's look. Mm, so this move is a buff. And yes, so this must be physical attack because this one, that's the only one that's showing right here. And the other one, you know, that I assumed was physical attack was a shorter kanji. But this one is a longer kanji. Okay, okay. Asta's moves, like, I, I don't really be expecting much from Asta's moves because Asta's literally just slashing people. Um, Asta's moves will get hyper as the game goes, right? That's just how Asta's fighting gets. Now, Asta be fighting hard. That's for certain. We got the second skill. Mmm, little barrage form. They weren't ready for that. Had a debuff on it, and then this is a buff for Asta. So buff. What if that's like boosting basic stats or boosting defense or something like that? About 60%. That little shield with the X in it. I'm just so curious as to what it could be. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, school bully Asta, bro. Mmm, not the dull wheel. Wait, wait. Run that back. Speculate, speculate. Not the dual wheel, bro. It was not ready for that nasty dual wheel. He was right in there. Yo, 
scratch everything I said about waiting for later Asta, that ultimate was hard. Oh, they gave him little flip-flops. Hey, bro, that's fine. Asta can still be a savage in flip-flops. And we just saw the exit menu. Or, this is the demo anyway, so you can't really do any much more than that. So, that's not the full exit menu. That's just, like, the demo exit menu. Let's go ahead and jump over to the next video here. Now, what we have here is summon animations, so we can see how much it costs for a multi. No, we can't. No, we can't. That said zero. That said... That said zero here. You have zero. That number looks like a speculating 20. Bro, I bet the higher, I bet the version that they dropped in the first place is higher quality. Hold on, hold on. There's some information about the banners back here. You can see different banners right here. I saw, I guess, the only thing that I did see was like, there's like a, there's like a, um, like a relic system or maybe? I'm not too sure yet. Let's, let's just let this play and I'll kind of try to explain as it goes through. So we were wrong, that animation that they showed in the trailer was not the summon animation, but this... So, green is rare, blue is SR, this is SSR, we have not seen a UR yet. Until this day, we have still not seen a UR character. Okay. So, this is what I'm talking about, like, relics or whatever, like... This is rare. What if this is like arcs from uh, Lost Last Claudia? This, you know what? Even if it is like arcs from Last Claudia, I'd be. Oh no! This is not arcs from Last Claudia. This icon right here is in the exact same shape as the emblem-looking thing. You remember when I was looking at Yami's character sheet? I'm gonna pull it up right now while I'm talking. You remember when I was talking about Yami's character sheet and I said that it looks like they have four basic attack skills, active skills, and they have two passive skills, and then the last thing is like a little emblem? Boom. This is in the exact same place, uh, exact same shape as that medallion here. And it gives you extra skills. So this is obviously one for you know. It looks like green, looks like wind magic. Or an arrow made of lightning, possibly. So, this is possibly... Oh, and they can have just one skill on them. So, maybe you boost these all the way up to five star. They get five skills, and you can re-roll the skills on them. I'm just, I'm just going as I... I'm just rolling and going, bro. Because I was trying to figure out how they were going to implement magic items to the game. Because if we remember, it's very vaguely sp spoken about. But in the Black Clover series, in the Black Clover universe, they do have items that they can like use to amplify their magic abilities. What if what if characters that are base rarity rare get higher stats because of this? Or maybe it's letting you know the bonus effect when it's rare. And then maybe you boost it up to SR. And it tells you the bonus effect to SR. Oh! That's the, I, I'm still in the summon animation. So when you get a crazy character, they show, uh, we get a character, it shows all the guilds, and then it ends with the last, oh. This is so good, bro. This is worth the wait, this is worth the wait. Oh, class is ugly. Okay, and this right here is now confirming that at the end of the character trailers, not the ones with the ultimate, but the ones with the, I just realized that my, my stream thing is up. This is my stream overlay, but it's cool. At this point, it's too deep. Shout out Entity Summer. He do be supporting on the stream. Shout out Bula too. But um, this is now showing me that the screen at the end of the character animation videos, not the one with the ultimate, but the one where they showed the basic skills and they showed the like, little movements and all that. The, the picture at the end of those was the summon. Like When you summon a character and you get them, this, 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 that's what shows. You can see stats right here. So we have... We have him more than likely in attack where he shoots off a bunch of drills. Uh, the door attack to defend himself. For some reason, it's not showing his typing. Maybe you have to unlock that. Okay, new things are being learned. Health, defense, mana, attack. And what's crazy is maybe my speculation for skills was not too far off. Or not skills, stats were not too far off because I made the stats super low. Looks like the stats might be low. Then again, he is a rare. So let's continue. Jack? Jack? Oh, Sekka? God, Sekka, bro. God, Sekka. Oh, that's crazy. Sekka's mana and attack is literally the inverse of um, Klaus's attack and um, mana. This right here is the Sekka ball, more than likely. Yeah, that's the Sekka ball where you can shoot off stuff. You know what? This is phenomenal. Who is it? Okay, so it's Yuno? No, it's Klaus. Oh, I'd be mad. A two-class multi-graph? It's Yuno. It's you know. 
Oh, he's already in the game. That's Alec Dora, isn't it? Is that not Alec Dora? I think that's Alec Dora. Wow, we're gonna have a lot of characters in the game off the air. Or, or they're just showing these characters for example. Cause this is development stuff. Jack? Is it Jack? It's Jack. It's gotta be Jack. It's gotta be Jack. Bruh. What? What? <laughs> Look at that little ex extra effect when you get a SSR, yo. What are they doing right now? Yo. Hashtag worth the wait 2023. Come on, bro. This man Jack's gotta have some sort of... Oh my god, I can't believe it. That means there's gonna be a lot of extra like side characters and they're probably gonna make them like very useful just so that they're not in the game for no reason. This is gonna be so cool, bro. It's a mushroom dude. No, it's Sekka. I'll say it's mushroom man. What? Huh? Now, before we look at who this is, I need you guys to guess down below who you thought it was when you saw this clover pop up. My guess is, oh, it's just the Clover Kingdom. What if it's Julius? That I means it's not a part of the squad anymore. What if it's just the Wizard King? Bro, it's either, well, no, still really wouldn't be a Sony character. No, no, ridiculous, absolutely not, fuck no. Yo, this is either Julius or Lumiere? Let's see. Oh. Oh, so not... Okay, he is a Clover Kingdom guy. Okay, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. So, Rev G. We have Rev G. I can't front. He was looking kind of cold. <laughs> he was looking kind of cold, though, when he did the little... When he did the little look back that... What you want, bruh? Stone cold with that, bruh. Stone cold with that. His models are too good, bruh. So, wait, wait, wait. Dang, I can't even... Damn, okay, let's let it go to the end and sit there. So, we can see here that in the multi, even though these came first, they seem, they seem to have put all the like relics or whatever towards the end of the multi. And then we have all the characters that were summoned before that. And then Jack has this nice little, so he's blue typing, but he's an attack type. Okay, good. That was one thing that I wanted to make sure of that every single time you summon a character, if it's a certain copy of that character, their color does not change, their typing does not change, so that's good. I just wanted to make sure, fun fact, way back, nine years ago, gotcha game, Brave Frontier, they used to drop units. Units were different colors, yes, and the colors would never change, no matter how many versions of that character, well, no, 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 yeah, yeah. It, so, say the main character's name was Vargas, he was a fire unit. If you summon Vargas, he can never be a different color. He is just a fire unit. Now, the only thing that will change is, there were five types. It was, it was Anima, which means the unit has more HP than usual of, compared to other stats. It was Guardian, which means they have more defense. Breaker, which meant they have more attack. Um, Oracle, which meant they have more um, recovery. And then there was one more typing that was like a balance of it all, right? And basically, when you summon for characters on Brave Frontier, you more than, so say a healer drop. You summon the healer, but you get the Breaker version of the healing. You're just like, well, this unit's not for doing damage. I need a I need an anima burger. You keep something. Yeah, no, 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 none of that in this. I, I was making sure I was I was like, there's no way they're gonna make us do that. But luckily, they're not gonna make us do that. Every unit is a certain color and a certain like type specific role, right? So that's very good. Um, also, we see here that the SSR units have a black background. Now, I don't think all these characters are gonna be in the game upon release. They're just showing these characters off. That's all. But you can see each rarity you go up on the summons characters are a little more decorated a little more ornamented um also notice that i don't i don't think like even this man jack is ssr and this is still his normal like outfit it's not like any other outfit so i don't think we're getting any other outfits like through the evolutionary chain but more so we're getting more outfits through maybe affinity maybe uh other variants of the character man i'm i'm excited dude what what is happening right now this is so much information to drop like right before the beta i guess i mean it makes sense this is all makes sense. But we're gonna go over to the next thing. Now, right here, we actually have School Girl Mimosa. Mimo, Mimoker, right? School Girl Mimosa looks good. People hate on Mimosa. Mimosa's not a bad character. 
she can be kind of a mean the way she comes up and heals everybody every time. But I mean, like, bro, you know what Mimosa does. Mimosa solely heals. Solely heals. She's done attack stuff <clears throat> one time, and she shot a solar beam out of a plant at the Royal Magic Knights, uh, Royal Knights exam, Royal Knights selection, whatever, right? That's the only time we see her do some attack shit. So stop being mad at Mimosa for just healing and being a cracked healer. That's all she does. If she wasn't cracked at healing, then what would be her point? Okay. <laughs> oh, so blue. Ah, now we have green on the bottom of the icon. So green is definitely healing. So that heals and attacks. Oh, that's her first skill. That's her basic skill. Yeah. I told y'all, bro. The basic skills is gonna have extra effects on them, bro. Told y'all. I love that they're not showing us any actual damage values. There ain't no way Mimosa is hitting 9999. Damn, look at all those debuffs. Hey, yo, is this the flower guy post? Yo. Yo. No, no, okay. Just like that poison fume from the flower. But it's a single target. Now, this has no indication of AoE or single target, so that way you can tell that it's a self target. I guess, or a entire team, so there's no point in telling you, like, I guess they don't have a symbol for, like, team things. Oh, you choose who it's on. Okay. I mean, I'm not really, like, obviously we weren't here for most of the attack animations. I just wanted to see her, uh, character model. It looks really good, though. Looks like she heals a bit off of the damage that she does. Um, I was gonna say that's crazy how she used her ult and it didn't expend any stamina, but it did. It, the video just reset. Let's go over to the next video. This one wasn't really as hype, but still, though, the most model looks good. Oh, so this is translated. This says left side characters, right side skills, right here, right? So let's look at this to summarize. Um, we have Yami, we have Vonjens. 0.75%, that's not bad. That's better than the usual gotcha rates, is it not? Especially for like SSRs. Is it not? Huh. We can see all this. Uh, I'm not sure what that says. Oh, this is a Yami banner. Obviously, the banner is Yami and Vanya's. They are the main front runner in the banner. This is going to be the first banner in the game. Let's find out. Um, this right here is the three units that we just saw. So they're just showing off all the up rated up SSRs, SSRs. No, rated up SSRs, banner SSRs, other SSRs. I'm thinking maybe that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just general pull SSR. Oh, rate up SSRs, season SSRs, which means SSRs. So are they gonna? Oh wait, are they giving us banner units? Are they going to do banner units? It seems like they will be doing that because it looks like they're incorporating a bunch of characters that we thought that would not be characters at all. But yeah, it looks like they're rate units. Oh, oh, oh. Let me go back to the summon screen real quick. I'm big lag and I miss one thing. If we come back and look here. You see this right here? These little coins? No. They're not coins, but little like gems. This doesn't look too far off. The summon currency looks like a some sort of like gem stone, right? This looks like a gem stone. So what I'm thinking is this is like a cause these don't look any different than the other. And I don't see I don't see Klaus's face on it. I don't see I don't see Seka's face on it. It looks like these are just like general like green, you know, coins, right? That you get for a shop after you summon the character. Because you get the character right here. Oh, I didn't even notice. This is three. This is two. Okay. Or no, this is three. This is two. This is one. The little crystals right here. But you see, we've gotten the characters right here, and they come again, and they're crystals. I think these are going to be in a shop, some sort of currency in a shop. These are skills now, confirmed, right? Oh, I get it. You see the grimoire at the top? That means the skill goes into the grimoire. Yeah. Clever. Clever. See what they did. Let's go back to the other video with the summer rates. Or the other picture with the summer rates. Nah. Summer rates, we got 1.5 for upgraded up units. Uh, banner units, point. 19? Oh, why is that rate lower? Hmm. Then we have 1.5 for the regular SSRs. We have SRs, 12.82. Then we have rares, 43.98. This is for the skills over here. So 60% chance of getting a character, 40% chance of getting a skill card. That's cool, I guess. Um, rated up skill cards are 1%. SSRs are 0.09%. SSR, regular, or season SSRs are 0.09%. Uh, SSRs, regular SSRs, general pull SSRs, 1.7%. SSRs are 9.2%, and then rares are 
Um, then we got the next picture. Now, this, this right here, this is what everybody's been waiting for. I know, I know, bro. This right here, if you played, um, if you played Black Clover Quartet Nights, then oh, what is all this? Look at the character. Maybe this is look at the character model. Maybe this is character bio. This is deeper stats like sub stats, and this is favorite. That's my speculation. But right here, uh, we can see this move in Black Clover Quartet Nights. When you play with Mars, his basic attack is called Haggle, and he literally just shoots a stream of diamonds. That looks like this, possibly. This right here is probably just rising minerals from the ground. This is obviously Gladius or Leviathan. Is it named Le Leviathan? The giant sword that he summons that Asta has to defend Yuno from. Yeah, let's look at his skill, bro. I'm like, Mars? Hype. What a guy. What a guy. Yo, shout out Bulat. This is basically, if Bulat was a character in Black Clover, this is who he would be. Or Sekka, because he's a troll. Loading screen. Hmm. Stun? Stun? Who you hit? Who you hit? Shield. Stun! Big brain dead man. Did they get stuck in place with that one? Did they get stuck in place with this one? Plants it. What did I tell you? Diamonds rise from the ground. What if that is a move that plants them, but it didn't plant that one, that unit specifically because he's already stunned? Okay, Gladius. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Ooh, that cutting is lethal, dog. Look at that. That's dangerous. That's dangerous as hell. The Titan and Leviathan? Oh! <laughs> There's no reason they spaz this hard. There's... Oh my god. What? What? Yeah, Mars. Yo. I'm updating my ultimate attack tier list. Score Drip Yuno is up there. Score Drip Asta is up there. But Mars is top. Did you see that? Yo! You wake up and you're trying to surpass your limits and you see this. What are you doing? What are you doing, Magic Knights? I'm surpassing my limits, but what are you doing, bro? Come on now, bro. Vic Gaming surpassed their limits for this. This is what it was all for, bro. Do you see this? I gotta run that back one more time. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. This is how I get the best of the ultimate. Just because it's on that oh, it's mode, bruh. Best ultimate. Best ultimate. Actually. Oh, okay, I was about to say, he doesn't give himself the armor, but he gives himself an overshield. I was gonna say, that looks like a, that looks like a shield, bro. No, Mars is fire, bro. Wow, I am. Oh, and then they're showing that you can hold the character and show off what what buff they have currently. That's good. That's helpful. And it lasts for two turns. That's good. That's good. Okay, I think that's actually the end of all of this. Let me just double check and make sure. You know what, guys? After thinking about it, I was like, this video is already going on kind of long. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this video, and then I'm gonna have other videos following that are breaking down the um, animations for not the animations but breaking down the skills i'm actually going to try to get those translated so i can see what they say but you guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did you can go down below on mary eliana thrash that like button and you can also subscribe hit the notification bell so you can leave your hostile mana every time i drop a video this was supremely hype i'm i am baffled right now i was like i told you bro i was half alive i was bricked when i was asleep i'm fully awake now there's no way there's no way this is real crap this shit's ridiculous. But you guys have a good one. You guys passion them. You guys get ready for this good-ass game. It's going to be your boy, Deadman Vince, signing out. Peace.